is up YouTube it has been a while since I posted a video I think the last one was controlling your ground control pro to my G major 2 and today we're going to show you how to control the ground control pro with an 11 rack by Avid and so it's pretty easy there's not much to it so first thing you want to do is hold the edit button down to get to the user options and you want to scroll down to where it says MIDI CC reference and hit that button and that gives you all the numbers that you need for distortion, mod, delay, reverb, whatnot. So write those numbers down or keep that screen up. Probably can just keep that screen on. And so let's say we want to control the distortion on and off with the pedal board. So the first thing you want to do is we know the number is 25, right? So go, go down here and first thing you want to do if you haven't already is to hit your setup mode with the both buttons and you want to go to utility and you want to go to make sure that it's set for the four presets at the bottom and stop stomp box mode on the other eight up top you can modify that here this is I think how it's originally set up with the ten presets and we want to change that to the four so these four are the preset channels and then these are set up for stomp box mode and hit edit to escape yes alright once that's set up we want to let's say we want to control the distortion on this button button one so we know the number is 25 so hit both setup buttons and we want to hit uh, instant access and that's what comes up for each for each button now it may come up with the G GCX I'm not sure if it looks like this you just want to scroll that's for something else that's if you, that's if you have a GCX uh, controller hooked up which I don't so we want to scan through this till we get to here okay so that's this is button one and then channel one we want to leave it on channel one that's the how it's communicating with the 11 rack scroll across and then this is the CC number that we need which is already at 25 which was what we wanted okay and then to edit that you just you can just use these buttons to get the number that you want we want 25 hit exit exit yes okay so now when I press one off and on it should be turning my distortion on and off Just like that okay and I'll show you one more time let's say we want <coughs> I want the tuner to come up with the crown with the uh, pedal board so the uh, where is that tuner it is uh, 69 that was on the next screen by the way tuner enables 69 is the number that you need for the tuner so I'm gonna ex exit out of there and we know that when we hit the tuner, looks like that. Okay. We want to do that on the pedal board. We need the number 69. So let's hit edit, instant access, and let's put it on number 8. So we want to. Scroll over to that, and we want. Oops, hold on. We need to go down to number eight. Okay. Button eight, channel one. Scroll over, and then the C 
cc number that you need is already 69 you can edit that here to whatever, whatever number you need once you get it to 69 hit edit exit yes so now when I'm playing and I need to mute it to tune just hit number eight and my tuner is enabled and that's pretty much what you do to all of them so just remember these numbers that for all of them for your uh, mod delay reverb effects one and two effects loop if you have one and uh, the only other thing that you need to know is once you get your once once you get all the eight of these set up you want to the ones that you have on when you first turn to the channel you need to have those on down here too otherwise you'll have to hit them twice in order to act it, to turn them off. So to do that, let's say we see how, how we have number four on when we, when we hit number three. Let's say we want to turn that where that's not on when we hit number three. All you do is hit hit number three, turn it off, hold down edit, and then just hit edit again, save, yes. So now when we hit three, it's not on. And that's what you want to do with with all of them. I got one, two, four, and six on when I go to preset channel one. And that that way all the all of those are already on. And so to turn them off, I just have to hit it one time. And that just turned my distortion off. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty easy to set up. Uh, it's a lot easier than some of the other ones. The only thing that uh, I don't get is why you can't edit your numbers here. I guess they're set in stone. But oh well. Just get those numbers, program them down here, and you should be good to go.